Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm here with a pretty cool mod called the Extractinator mod. And this is, this is a pretty interesting mod because what it lets you do is extract your items into other items. Um, it's kind of like a conversion e mod, but not exactly. So what this one does, or this multi-block here does, is turn your cobblestone into other items, while this one here turns your gravel into other items, this one turns your nether rack into other items, and your endstone. So we'll start and go through all of these one at a time. And um, let's start here, showing you guys how this one works and it's crafted. So what we're gonna need for this is two different things. Now you guys can see it's a multi, multi-block item, so if I were to click that, break it, it won't actually do anything unless it's full. So we're going to have to have eight of these extractinator casings and one of these uh, one of these cobblestone or extractinators and the extractinator casing is just crafted by taking two redstone four flint a block of iron and two diamonds or alternately you could do two diamonds or four diamonds uh four wool and one block of iron whichever you prefer this one's a little bit cheaper they all they have their two preferences then you're also going to need a cobblestone or extractinator which you crafted by taking four extractinator casings two cobblestone two obsidian and one block of iron so now what we're going to do is place it down in the formation like this and all you have to do is take a piece of cobblestone and right click it and you guys can see what's going to shoot out of there was gravel now, what you have with this is an 80% chance of getting gravel, a 1% chance of getting small diamonds, um, a 0.1% chance of getting diamond, a 4% chance of getting iron dust, a 2% chance of getting gold dust, and it goes on. So pretty much you have a small percent chance of er getting everything and a big percent chance of getting gravel. So I'm just going to right click this a bunch and see what we get out of it. So let's do this as you guys can see. I'm gonna go until I have about a stack of gravel because that will be helpful for our next for our next one. Whoops. Make sure you right click that inside one. You can see it's gonna just spit it everywhere, and that should be good. So let us let us move on to the next guy. But before we do that, I'll show you guys what we got here. We got some small emeralds, some 28 iron dust, some lapis, we got some gold dust, and some small diamonds. Now these small emeralds and small diamonds can be used to create a full emerald. So a full emerald is crafted just by taking nine small emeralds. And same thing with the small diamond. You need nine small diamonds to make a full diamond. And then what you could do with these gold dusts and other things is just turn them into uh, gold ingots or iron ingots by smelting it. So you guys can see here, we can also turn it into an iron ingot just by smelting it. And um, let's move on and just look what we got here. So let's move on to this guy, which is the gravel or extractinator and the gravel one is crafted just by taking four or extractinators again uh, or extractinator casings and then two obsidian two gravel and a block of iron and what you got to do is just right click the gravel to it and this one has a higher chance of getting flint over everything else so you have an 80% chance of getting flint a 1% chance of getting a small diamond and a 0.1% chance getting Diamond, 4% chance of iron dust, 2% chance of gold dust, a 1% chance of small emerald, a 0.1% chance of an emerald, a 10% chance of coal, and a 3% chance of lapis lazuli. So you guys can see here, we collect all this stuff up and let's see what we got. We got a bunch of flint, we got some small diamonds, we got some small emeralds, we got some iron dust, we got some lapis, we got some more flint. Very, very cool. So, let's move over to this guy, which is the Netherrack or Extractinator, which is crafted by taking four Extractinator casings again, two Netherrack, four, or two Obsidian, and one block of iron, and all you gotta do is take some Netherrack. So let me grab some Netherrack from my TMI, and, or NEI, whatever, and let's just right-click this here. And this one has a higher chance of getting things from the Nether. So you have a 50% chance of getting Nether Quartz, with a 5% chance of getting magma cream, a 15% chance of getting glowstone dust, a 5% chance of a gold nugget, a 1% chance of a tear, and a 0.0001% chance of getting a nether star. So that's pretty cool to have a small, small, small percent chance of getting a nether star, especially because if you're early game not able to get things like a nether star, uh, fight the wither with not, it's very, very helpful to get it this way. So let's just right click this a bunch. Maybe we'll get another star. I highly doubt it. No, I, I'm doubting we're getting another star at this point. There, there's a, there's such a slim chance. So 
let's keep that there. And uh, let's look at this last guy here, which is the Endstone or Extractionator. Now, this guy doesn't actually have a crafting recipe, so you're going to have to spawn that through TMI or NEI. I don't know why I keep saying it. Um, but you can, it still is functional. So if we were to grab some Endstone, just grab that. And let's throw a bunch of these things just back into our inventory, see what we get. You guys can see the Endstone doesn't really get you much all at one time, but over time, it will start spawning things. So you have a 1% chance of getting a tungsten dust, which you guys can see right here. I just got two of them. And you have a 0.001% chance of getting an ender dragon wing and a 0.01% chance of getting a strange ender eye, a 1% chance of an ender pearl, a 0.5% chance of an eye of ender, and a 0.0001% chance of a dragon egg. And see here, I'm just getting a few things, so it does take a lot of your, a lot of your end stone, but it it's worth it if you guys want some of these things. Now this mod does add a few special items into the game. For example, let's see here, uh, we obviously we have these things like these tungsten ores and stuff, but it also adds like a strange ender eye and dragon wings. Now before we talk about these, the tungsten ore, you can get tungsten from this little mechanism here, but the tungsten doesn't have any uses yet. If I hit you, you can see there's no uses, but the tungsten ore is just crafted by taking tungsten dust and smelting it. Now the dragon wings can't be crafted, they only are obtained by you getting it through your extractinator, and the dragon wing does is when you equipped it, it will allow you to fly. So if I were to get out of creative mode right now, I can actually fly around. And when I'm on the ground, I run a lot faster, walk a lot faster too. But the one problem with the mod is that when you take it off, you still can fly and you still walk a little bit faster. So that, that makes a little bit of an issue, a little bit of a glitch, but it's all right. I'm sure this mod will, or the mod creator will fix it over time. Um, other than that, right here, this strange ender eye lets you shoot it and it'll transport you like any other ender eye but it doesn't actually leave your inventory which is nice if you don't if you don't want to lose ender pearls but um that's pretty much what this mod adds into the game it's a very simple yet complex mod and i really like how it works uh actually one other thing is the mods kind of glitched right now where you can't see your body so rah, rah, everything's reversed and really weird i don't like it so hopefully the mod creator will fix that as well but that's pretty much what I have for you guys in this video. Uh, if you guys liked it, could you please leave a rating? Let me know how I did. But um, anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Wow, that was a weird bye. All right.